Okay, I, I'm kind of late in making this because there was a lot of shit to unpack from today. You will not believe the day I had. You'll find out in the next video that I upload. It's just probably the it's just basically the longest YouTube video I've ever up I've ever made is ever gonna upload in all of mankind. Even longer than the David Arnold and Kelly Berglund videos that were supposed to be that fucking long. So. <laughs> Therefore, and it's a banger too, so you don't want to miss it. Check it out like Kevin LePage and be sure to watch for it. But I'm here to talk about my man, Max E. King's um, one-off guest appearance on the CBS drama FBI. Not Most Wanted, not International, the original, the regular one. So, let's get into it. I'm only going to talk about his parts as Acto... Act Octavio Lopez. I don't give a shit about that show out as a whole outside of him. I was only watching to support him. So, therefore, I'm going to tag his partner who played uh, that Benny guy who was on the run from the Popo and the director that, you know, that, you know, Max, um, you know, recorded that, that rushed promo with. So that way they know, hey, there was this was one of Max's fans, you know, from Promised Land supporting him on other stuff he does, even if it's just a one off on a show that he normally doesn't watch or follow on it full time on a daily basis 24 7 so anyway Octavio came in a little later than I knew and I anticipated considering you know when it cut to the surveillance cam the first like the surveillance cameras the footage the tape you know the evidence of the kill you know what happened to those poor kids um that were you know the the girl was sick and you know the boyfriend wanted to take her to the hospital We'll get to the fully detailed version of this one. Eh? I can't believe he was the one that was the killer, but I'll get to that a little later. So, anyway, so the video evidence where Octavio first appears, where Benny goes to knock on his door and lets him in, asks him for a drink, says, no, I'm good, but I appreciate it. And so the it's kind of funny how they did the transition, you know, from the FBI offices, you know, to they cut in the... The, the producers did a good job of the They cut into the surveillance of the evidence tape and um, made it actual, an actual scene like if it was real life and it was live, which is pretty cool. I wish there was like that in real life. So I think that was basically, that's the point of TV. They're supposed to make shit look real that it really isn't real if you're one of the actors behind the scenes filming this stuff. But, <laughs> oh wow. Everything seemed fine at first. Everything seemed, everything seemed fine. Everything seemed fine. And then, um, and then, you know, um, you know, considering, you know, before that, you know, but this is the only thing I put, I did, I posted that was not about Max. Benny was on the run. So Benny wasn't the killer, as we all know, even though they did arrest him at first, but at least he told the truth. At least, usually they'll tell lies and shit on Law and Order and the other bullshit my family watches, but this was a thousand times better. And I, I may be biased because, you know, Max, you know, but. At least Benny told the truth, and then you know, they you know they had Benny do this little s skit, a skit, and a, a, a character doing a skit that's you know an actor you know portraying a character doing this you know little skit for the show or entertainment purposes for the drama, pretended that he didn't know anything about it, and then um, what was the scene that came next? Oh yeah, the bar scene. <laughs> oh my God, you know. Is it just me or did Octavio Lopez, you know, be like show a little show a little gonzo in him? I could see I saw a little bit of gonzo in Octavio tonight. I mean, especially in the bar scene. The bar scene it was just all calm and shit. And then um you know, they um I love how he kept changing the plans because you know it wasn't going in his favor. Some shit like that. I know nothing about this show. I was only there to support Mexi Kings. And this is basically what this reaction video is all about. If I can make Anna Grace Barlow her own reaction video to her one-off appearance on Grey's Anatomy of Charlotte Mars, I can do the same thing for um, Max E. King for his one-off appearances as um, Octavius Octavius Lopez on FBI, which are you know, ABC and CBS shows. I am an ABC and CBS and a Fox fan, but. Because Anna Grace Barlow was the big leap on Fox and the Goldbergs on ABC. And with, you know, the Gold, at least, you know, with the big leap gone, I'm pretty sure well, there's a possibility we might see Lisa Vine make her grand return to the Goldbergs. But we'll see. We're going to talk about that and, you know, in, in, in her jumbo size birthday tribute. And this is the birthday tribute I made for AJ McCalca today. Basically, it was basically how long, you know, Anna Grace Barlow's might be from the same show. But anyway, we'll, we'll save that conversation for, you know, July 17th. But. Anyway, so therefore, when, you know, they had to, like, you know, try to get um, uh, uh, Octavius off his game, you know, 
they met him at the at some kind of parkway or some shit like that and then when he went to drive off then my job is done they had to chase him down and he was the one that was the killer i couldn't believe it but you know he kind of redeemed himself seconds later by coming out clean and telling the truth see this just proves that even when even well even when you know even when you know his his characters seem seem you know kind of you know mean and all that shit, they seem just also seem just as good as Pete, you know minor antagonists as you know. And they show that they're minor antagonists. They also show they're like as good as people as you know the real Mexi King. So I enjoyed that shit. I mean, I was going crazy after I sh after the episode ended. I shut it off. And I was you know, you know like you know rambling about you know about the about his his like role on the on the show coming up the stairs and i was still rambling when i came out through the basement door and back up on the main floor and my grandmother had no idea what the hell i was talking about so that's why i had to explain it to her i'm always like that with my friends from my favorite shows the full time and they make one-off appearances on shows i normally don't watch or follow on a daily basis i watch it not just you know you know be a fan of the whole show even though that it has happened quite a few times, but not much. But mainly, it's not to be able to like get into a new show, but it's also to support. It's actually to support them. You know, like we did Rebecca Metz on Coop and Cammy with you know, with um, mom. We did that. Mom got canceled, unfortunately. Um, we did that with Regis. You know, with wants to be a millionaire from when I was a child on Single Parents. Before that, also went away. Uh, we um, we did it with Anna Grace Barlow on um. Grey's Anatomy, I guess not too long ago. Although some of these one-offs, these potential one-offs, turn into full-time shows because that's how good that's how good they turn out to be. You know, I'm not saying FBI is good, FBI is not good, but the Goldbergs was such a banger. It's always been such a banger to the point where I had to fully get into it, even though I was only doing it for a Kelly Berglund one-off, and then I had to fully get into it. So that was you know, season um eight no season not no season eight was my first full season even though i had abandoned the end of it as i came in at the end of season seven kelly berglund showed up but anyway yeah that's all i wanted to come on here and talk about this will be the first thing that's going to be uploaded because that aj mcconker birthday banger is going to be a sh going to take fucking forever so please bear with me it's probably not going to I'll probably I'll probably schedule it for like a like a a, two, a Wednesday morning upload so that way you know I don't have to worry yeah, yeah, wait and sitting there and waiting and waiting and waiting so we all know what that video you know that's gonna be the next video now tomorrow I will be going over the Spurs playing game win or lose and then you know Thursday before the Terry Labonte installment of Welcome to Flash which I'm gonna do the Hulu version because I'm gonna be too tired you know to like watch the Fox version in the office their studio. Because uh, before I do that reaction video, I don't have work on Thursday or Friday. Tomorrow's my last day before the Easter break. And um, what we're basically going to do is, you know, go to bed at a reasonable hour tomorrow night. That way we can be up early on Thursday and have fun all day. Even if it means it's overcast and windy, as long as, you know, it doesn't fucking rain. So we're going to have, a, you know, a t uh, Trinity Stokes birthday banger for a Greg Biffle Sweet 16, which technically was today. But because we were celebrating AJ McCalca, I decided to move that two days later. So Thursday. So... Therefore, you won't want to miss it. We might do a little basketball since Trinity Stokes is a basketball fan herself, mainly the Phoenix Suns and Utah Jazz. So it's going to be fun. So until then, this is Mark Oliveira signing off. Hell of a job by Mexi King tonight on what was the Matt Kenseth installment of a show I normally don't watch or follow on a daily basis, FBI and CBS. Have a wonderful summer, buddy. I uh, hopefully I'll fingers crossed for season two of Promised Land and more Gonzo. And I'll always, you know, remember, you know, think about that Ricky Martin and Menudo um, conversation on your Instagram when I first figured out who you were through Carrie Matter's post. You know, one of the things that gave me Promised Land. But I'm gonna get off this and focus on uploading that AJ McCalka birthday banger for Robbie Gordon 31st birthday. So have a good night tonight and a better day tomorrow. Life will give you a lot of lows, but when you hit a high, enjoy it. It ain't for the week. God damn, be you. You have to try harder to do less. You can't deport a dream. Take care, everyone. Good night. I will see you all for the next video, which will be tomorrow for the Spurs play and review, which is potentially this final Spurs game review of the season if we lose. So if we win, we're in the playoffs. If we're, we, it's highly unlikely, highly like, uh, highly unlikely. But if we lose, we're done for the season, which is more more than likely. And if it does happen, thank God. That means. I can finally be happy and no more stress, and I can have a happy summer like I did last year. But anyway, I'm going to get off for tonight. See you later, everyone.